In this video, we're going to solve a consecutive integer problem. So our problem is to find two consecutive even integers such that the smaller added to 4 times the larger gives a sum of 28. So let's make sure we know a couple terms here. The first term we definitely need to know is integer. So let's just go over here and review that integer. An integer is a number that comes from this set. So it could be a positive or a negative whole number, basically. The whole numbers are 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, up to infinity. And the integers would include the opposites of those numbers, the negatives. So negative 28, that's an integer. Positive 523, that's an integer. So what wouldn't be integers? Well, fractions and decimals. Uh, 2.5 is not an integer. Negative 3 and 1 third is not an integer. So what we're trying to find are two consecutive even integers. So your even numbers are, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. Um, those are your even numbers. So we've got consecutive even integers. Well, what does consecutive mean? That means in a row. So some examples of two consecutive even integers would be 6 and 8. Those are two consecutive even integers because they're in a row, 6, 8. That's the consecutive part. They're even and they're integers. Um, 12 and 17. Those would not be two consecutive even integers because they're not consecutive and 17 is not even. All right, so now that we know what we're looking for, Let's see if we can set this up using some algebra. So we don't know what our numbers are. So we're going to have a smaller one and a larger one of our two integers. So let's let, and this is what you always want to do when you're writing a story problem, is you want to figure out what you want x to be, or your variable. So let's let x be the smaller integer that we're trying to find. So the next integer we don't know is the larger integer. Well, if x is the smaller of the two integers, the next integer is going to be x plus 2. And the reason is, is because whatever you choose for your even integer, let's say 2 is our even integer, the next even integer is going to be 4, which is 2 bigger than that. Let's go back to that example of 6 and 8. If x was my smaller one, then my next integer, next consecutive even integer, would be x plus 2, because it would be 2 more than that. If my smaller integer is 14, my next consecutive even integer would be 16, which is my smaller one plus 2. And this is always going to be true if you have consecutive even integers or consecutive odd integers. It's always going to be x and x plus 2. If that even or odd is not in there, then it's just x, x plus 1 would be your next integer. Okay, so my x plus 2 is my, my larger integer. So now we've got our variables defined, and we can go look and see what this says. We know that the smaller added to 4 times the larger. Let's write this out down here. The smaller added to 4 times the larger uh, gives a sum of 28, or is 28. Gives a sum of 28, is 28. Now we just substitute in with our variables. So we got the smaller. Well, we know that's x added to, that's going to be plus, 4 times, 4 times the larger. The larger is x plus 2. So we have to take 4 times x plus 2. If I just write this, I'm only taking 4 times x. I want to take 4 times the whole larger one. I want to take 4 times x plus 2, so i got to put that in parentheses. 4 times the whole thing, x plus 2, and I'll get rid of this dot, because I'm not going to use a dot to mean times. I'm going to use the parentheses. And that is 28, so that equals 
28. So there we have our equation. And once we have our equation, then we can just use um, our equation solving techniques. So we're going to distribute the 4. And 4 times x and 4 times 2. And we'll combine our like terms. x plus 4x is 5x. And we could subtract the 8 on the same step here since I'm running out of room. We'll squish this in. Subtract 8 from both sides. And that'll give us uh, 5x equals 20. And then we'll divide both sides by 5. And we'll have our value of x, which comes out to a lovely 4. And lucky for us, it's an even integer, because that's what we wanted. So let's go back up to the top here. We're trying to find two consecutive even integers. So we know x equals 4. That's our smaller one. Let's write that in red. So my smaller integer is 4. So that's 4. And my larger integer would then be 4 plus 2, or my next integer, next even integer, which is 6. So the answer is 4 and 6. And we could check it out and see if it works. We probably write it out like this, 4 and 6. To see if it works, we could say if we take the smaller and add it to 4 times the larger. So the smaller one is 4. If we add that to 4 times the larger, 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 plus 24 is 28. That worked. So the key to these is setting up your x, x plus 2, or whatever you need to set up. If, Like I said, if the even wasn't here, you would do x, x plus 1. And if it was three consecutive even integers, then you'd do x, x plus 2, x plus 4. Set those up first, and then set up your equation using whatever other information is given. So these are called consecutive integer problems, and I hope this video helped. Thank you.